conceptual people talk Real about talk, it, it throwing shots. all of the elements some of the things that are going on, talk to you about some things that are in my mind and kind of set the direction that we're going to be going in in the last quarter of this year as far as the Odyssey Project and the Black Voice and the work that I do in the Black community will go. Uh, as you know, I just recently released book number 22, The Undoing of the African American Mind. If you haven't gotten that, definitely get it. Uh, the good thing is, if you haven't gotten book number 19, which is the precursor, Born in Captivity, Psychopathologist, a Leg Legacy of Slavery, you can get the bundle uh, by following the link to get um, the latest book. So uh, that's that. Also, support the work we're doing. We have a lot going on. We are finishing a year strong. Uh, we are still trying to get everything set for the 15 year, I mean, the 15 city tour. Uh, that we're going to be doing where I'm actually going into 15 cities across America, uh, at least 15 cities. Uh, if the program kicks off and does well, I'll do more, but at least 15 cities in the course of this coming year where I'm going to go into these communities and literally uh, implement programs that I have designed for the community. This is not a lecture tour. This is not a money-making tour. That's why I'm asking for your support. I don't want to charge the people who need the programs uh, for me to bring the programs, but obviously I can't continue to short shoulder the burden. So I'm going to go into these communities and implement programs like Black Men Lead, uh, Restoring Ghettos and Forgotten Daughters, along with Mary and my wife. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Black Empowerment Initiative, Music is Life Initiative, and so much more, it, uh, all while creating a national network with each of these cities so that no one's left on an island. So show your love and show your support. We need to do that. We are so far behind on that fundraiser that it's ridiculous, but we continue to, to push on and we are continue, uh, committed to finding a way to make that happen. Okay, that's that. Also, my research is going to be a major focus in closing out this year as we look at so much that is being done. There's a lot going on. There's a documentary in the works and so much more uh, that's going on. So stay tuned for that. Now, real briefly, I want to talk to you about something that's on my mind and the reason I actually decided to shoot this video. We are far too easily distracted in times that we should be focused and set and pursuing a strategic agenda. We are caught up in what's happening with Cardi B and Offset. Just mentioning their names is like, really, this is what I've got to talk about. Cardi B and Offset. And if you know me and my love for hip hop, you know how it makes me feel. I'm not talking about you know, any particular song, anything in per person, I'm talking about the period of hip hop. I just have a problem. But to each his own. My thing is that's not where our focus needs to be. We are too le too easily distracted, and we live far too vicariously through celebrities. And what that means is we are not focused on living our best life. We're not focused on being who we could be. We're not focused on the impact we can make. We're caught up in that. That's how they keep us distracted. That's also how they mislead and misguide us. They use our bent towards being entertained as a way of escape. That's all entertainment is to us. It's escapism. It's a time that we can get away from the truth about who we are and where we are in this world. And instead of saying, I don't like where I'm at and I'm going to do something about it, we, we laugh, we dance, we sing. We've become so accustomed to it that it's cultural. 
and we don't realize that it's a part of the problem. Nothing wrong with dancing, nothing wrong with having fun, nothing wrong with entertainment. The problem is it has to have a place in the list of priorities that follows our own proactive engagement in our lives, that follows our own force of movement in our lives, that follows our intent on being an impact in the world around us, on making our impression felt on the world around us. We have gotten so off focus on what we need to be doing that the conversation is around Cardi B and Offset and Megan and, and, and her man and, and, and all of the stuff like that. It, what we need to be focused on is strategic uh, strategies uh, to improve home ownership, strategies to improve uh, financial knowledge, financial aware awareness, financial literacy, strategies to improve ownership in businesses and group uh, vertical group economics in industries that we dominate spending in. That's where the focus should be on things we can actually control, things we don't need permission from the white sector to do, things that we, we don't have to beg someone else to do. Those are the things that we should be focusing on. And we're sitting up focusing on what's going on in, in, in entertainment, what's going on, how ticked off we're at Swiss Beats because he dissed Janet Jackson and all of this stuff like that. And I mean, there's a time for that conversation, but that can't be the breast of what we're talking about. That can't take up the volume of time that we have that we could be spent expending energy to make something happen. We've got to prioritize life. Life will be so much more enjoyable if we controlled more. That's the thing. If we controlled more, that would be uh, somewhat, life would be so much more enjoyable. Entertainment will no longer be an escape. It will simply be a mechanism of fun. And that's the difference. We don't use entertainment as a mechanism of fun. We, we have fun, but it's the only fun we have. When we leave, whatever event we're attending, we're going back into a world we're not happy with. And that has to be the focus. Entertainment shouldn't be an escape, an escape mechanism. Entertainment should be a reward for the work that we've put in and the, and the progress we've made and the position we've created for ourselves. That has to be the focus. I'm about to get off, get off of here uh, meeting the wife and kids and uh, we're gonna get some things done, but I just had to bring that bring that up. I had to talk about that. So don't forget, get the book, show your love, show your support, but get ready because I'm going to be doing a great deal of pushing when it comes to the idea of uh, us being proactive in making things happen and us being proactive in positioning ourselves. It's time to stop begging, time to stop whining. It's time to start making moves. On that note, I'm getting out I, I, I'm getting off of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Talk to you soon. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.
Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you back. Have an awesome day. From a conceptual perspective, people talk about it, all of the elements.